In this part, we will add and style text in our document and also learn how to add text from a text file into a multi-line cell. So I prepared a page, PDF equals FPDF, add page, and also my output, and this is what we have. So if we want to add text, the first thing we have to do is we have to set a font and a size. So as font, I'll take Arial. I'll leave this one empty and text size is 10. So what this is, is the style of your text. So this could be a regular text, which we have now. We can also make it bold with B or italic with an I, but we'll stay with that for now. Then we have two ways of adding text. The first one is in a single line and the second one is a multi-line text. So we'll start with the single line text first. We'll type PDF cell and then we say width, stay with zero, height is five, and then we will add some text. This is text and we'll see how this looks like. And now we have our text. So the width, zero means that the cell is spread over the whole document you can have a look at this if you activate a border around the cell which i recommend doing so that you can see how your text is aligned so for example if i just say 50 whoops it will be order so we'll stay with zero real quick you could also align your text inside of the cell with a line. So the regular one is right. We could also do center and we could do left as well. Ah, that was right. There we go. Let's stay with center for that one. Okay. So next we'll add a multi-line text. The uh, same thing here, we'll type multi-cell with equals, let's say 50, height 5. So height 5 is not the whole box itself, it's just one line in the cell. We'll also take our border and then I will copy and paste some text. Let it run. And as you can see, our text is on the right hand side, which isn't looking good or makes any sense. So we want to have it in the next line. So we go back to our one line cell and type in line equals one. And then it starts in the next line. If you want to know more about alignment of text, please see the video of positioning text in PDF documents. As you can see, the text is automatically aligned to the border of our cell. So if we make the cell wider, we'll have less lines in it. There we go. We could also change our fill color of our text field. So we'll just do this up here. A PDF set fill color. And this takes RGB values. So I will just take a red one. And then we have to tell the cell, I will just do this in the single line cell, uh, fill one, so, or true. As you can see, it is now red. We can also change our color of our text. So we'll type the F set text color again here rgb values i'll just copy and paste and as you can see now the text has a different color which doesn't look too good but that's not the point right now if you want to change just say the first text color and don't want to change the second you have to do another set text color and we'll just this black again. 
And now it's black again. Let's see what happens if we take it out completely. And that was stupid. Mm -hmm. So it needs a value. Okay. Cool. So let's say we want to add text from a file. There's a few ways that you see online. The usual one is that you create multiple cells and put the text in there. But in my opinion, this doesn't make sense if you have a multi-line text, which normally is the case. So I prepared a text file with some text in it. Go back to our main. And now we want to convert that text and put it in our file. So what I will do first, I will set the cursor to another location. Also, don't worry what this does. This is explained in the positioning video. Just type go. Now, the first thing we want to do, we want to read our text file. And da, da, da. And then we go lines, quilts, and then let's see how this looks like. Okay, as you can see, converted the text into a list where every sentence or every line is one entry. And if we want to add that into our multi line cell, this doesn't really work. So we have to convert it into one long string. And this is done with join. So I'll type in text equals our separator. So you could separate that at whatever you like, but we'll separate it on the line break. Lines in there. And now you can see this is one big text. And now we'll just add that to our multi line cell. Let's take a width of 200. It is five as well. Let's take a border. And text will be text. And now you can see we have our text field here. Again, we could also center this. And just for fun, let's change the font of our multi line text. So, as before, we type set font. Remember, you have to change this whenever you want to change the font of the underlying elements. So we take career, let's make this bold, and text size, let's say 14. And there we have it. I hope this helped. See you next time.